Yeah. So keep thinking about our revision block one. I'll ask you questions and we'll go on to our block two, three, four, five, six today. Okay. Just it's a revise, revising part. Okay, children. It's a revising part. This is our English class. You are also from class four. So as we all discussed, we discussed about block one. What is the meaning of creaking? Everybody remember, children. Meaning of creaking. All the videos, Babesh, Hamisha. Yes, correct. First time we gave golden apple. Second time for the woman wanted 
we give children a golden doll and a golden ball. He gave second time golden doll and golden ball. Just listen, children. Okay, I'm not unmuting you because I don't want to waste the time today. Okay, so just keep listening. Okay, so that if any doubts if you have, you can put me on the WhatsApp. Okay, children. Yeah. So golden doll and golden ball. Second time he gave for the woman. Next, what happened after that? The woman became greedy, just like the golden goose woman. So woman became greedy. And she tried to steal the torch from the Dr. Ganesha, the scientist. So she took it as she took it right. She took it and she tried. It did not work. She don't know that it should shine the light half a day. So she tried to do it fast, fast, and she broke that torch. She felt very guilty about that. She felt very shameful about that. She left the city and went away. Ganesha don't know what happened to the torch. He thought a thief came and took away the torch. This is what happened with the story. And if you see, all of you having notes with you? Which object Dr. Ganesha used? Which object he used to read? Everybody can say. I can see your link moments, okay? Which object he used? The torch, very good. Bhagwan, Shabisha, that I did. Next, why was Dr. Ganesha excited about the torch? Why he was very happy about the torch? In simple answer, what we can say? Because the torch will change things into gold. Yes or no? That's why. That's why Ganesha was very much excited about that. And he could help many people with that. What is the meaning of beamed? Look at your textbooks or notebooks. Come on, pick it up. Textbook should be with you, children. Block two readings. Block two glossary. Those who don't have, just listen to me. Okay? Very good. Beamed. Smile happy. Beamed. Smile happy. Distress, feeling very sad. Distress. What is the meaning of distress? Everybody look at you. Can we? Feeling very sad. Embarrassed. Made someone look or feel foolish. You can just tell. Made someone feel foolish. Embarrassed means what to me? Made someone feel foolish. Expensive, something that costs a lot of money. What is the meaning of expensive? Costly, something that costs a lot of money. Generous, willing to give something freely. Willing to give something more than needed. It's free, give it freely. Thrilled, feeling excited. Thrilled, feeling excited. Are you repeating? Yeah, we will be. I will be featuring you children the grammar part of block three. So block three has only grammar that is about conjunctions. Okay. So just we will look at the features and we will just know about the conjunctions part.
Look at the children, block three, I am sharing screen sharing the grammar part, which will be the revision part of the grammar about conjunctions. How many of you remember what are conjunctions? I'll be looking at you, just look at this children. One minute. One second, children. Yeah. So look at the screen share, everybody. Can you see what is there? Can you see what is there? Yeah, compare and contrast. That is something but about, it is about, it is about conjunctions. See? How many conjunctions are there? Did you remember, children? I told you, fanboys. Remember the word fanboys? For and not. Fanboys. F for as in fur. F is for fur. A is for. And N is for nor, B is for but, O is for or. We revised it already, but we wrote up a split place with all. Y is for yet, yes, yes is for so. So these are the conjunctions. I told you we regularly use and, but, or, so. For when we use in day to day language, but we don't know when to use it. But we almost use it regularly. So if you take it, you so it will come according to the situation in the sentence. So and, but, or, so. So remember this fanboys? Fanboys come under conjunction. Okay, children? So now see the examples. First one Mr. Porter overslept. Okay, we write the sentence with the correct conjunctions. They have done it, they have put the conjunctions in the wrong way. They used wrong conjunctions in the sentence, put the correct conjunctions. Mr. Porter who was slept, yet he missed work. So what happened this yet should not be used just like that, children. So they this they use the right one, what is the right conjunction? Mr. Porter overslept, so he needs to work. Because, because, so he is used to see the reason. So, first, when we use so, when the reason comes, first, Mr. Porter overslept, so he missed the work. So he missed work. So reason is coming first. When we use so, when the reason comes first. And now we can say, remember, and is used when the reason comes next, after the conviction. Okay? The child wanted to eat an ice cream, so he had chip instead. It's wrong, so he's not using. The child wanted to eat an ice cream or chips. Why? Because there she is telling to whom it she want to eat. It is an option for us. So that's why we use or. Ravi hurt her leg, but she was taken to the first, first aid room. Ravi hurt her leg, so she was taken to the first aid room. I said, when do we use so? When the reason comes first. What is the reason she went to the first aid room? She got hurt. That was first. Really is first. She got hurt. So she went to the first aid room. Understood children? And but the rose bush looked beautiful and the garden out of out it down. Cut it down. The rose bush looked beautiful. But the gardener cut it down because but is used 
complement opposite i want to listen to english class but but the board is not clear so you use a opposite thing understood the example yeah okay so this is all about conjunctions if you see the next page it is a definition for you this class will be sent to you without the copy charming meer books open chest to to sir ko to see you have the definition of conjunction also children here a conjunction is a word used to join nouns or verbs or sentences okay keep in mind that next you will go to block our block 4 do you remember the block 4 name gurguru is dancing and fun what is our black block for what is it no guru is dancing and see the other so we will see the glossary have a little glossary to read antics foolish behavior you can just write foolish behavior foolish or funny behavior antics bungalow what is the meaning of bungalow a big house everybody should look into the screen screen shape i am looking at you whether you are looking or not look at the screen shape carefully where i am looking nen ekkada chadukunnaru meer ekkada chudalsindi compulsory bungalow a big house clad to be dressed in something clad to be dressed in something Gorgeous, very beautiful. Leap frog to jump over something. Leap frog means what, children? To jump over something. Rhythm, a good sound. Have you shown the video? Have you shown the video? Rhythm, a sound made again and again. So if you see down the same, add conjunctions correctly. Is that like conjunctions correctly? No, you have grammar part here. Abstract nouns, abstract nouns you have yes. Adding t i o n very easy. Adding t i o n n e s s. You already learned about something that prefixes. Yes, that's like that it is. Okay, easy. Okay, children, we go to the question next one. Okay, What dance form is the girl learning? What dance form is the girl learning, children? In Gurguru's dance, everybody know. But by the word Gurguru, it's something we have to say. Which dance form the girl was learning? The girl is learning how to do Bharatanatyam. Repeat everybody, Bharatanatyam. The girl is learning how to do Bharatanatyam. Yes, that dance form. Describe her dance costume. They are asking, tell about the dress. Explain about the dress. What she wore. The girl wore her mother's old saree. Stitch it into a dance costume. Oh, her dance form. How did it come? Her dance dress costume. Her mother's old sari stitched into a dance costume. And Guru's on her ankles. What do you think the words Aravati and Namas Kara mean? How do you know? What is the meaning of Aravati? We know when we read the story so many times. Because block two two blocks are covered on one lesson only. Aravati is a dance step where you sit like you are sitting on a imaginary chair, just like sitting on a chair. Imagine chairs only. Chair no go to not only posture me Aravati posture at all. Whatever namaskar everybody know. Joining two palms, touching each other. Yes, that is only namaskar posture. We go to the next question. What are the funny things the girl did in the school and at home? At school, what did she do, children? Everybody know, right? In the school near her friends also, she was doing the Aravindi position because she 
I am at home to a break for the Aramandi position. Have you got it? How do you know the girl loves to dance? The girl loves to dance because in the story she says that she hasn't missed a single dance class. How do you say that she loves dance to me? Babesh on the video, Hamish on the video, Siva on the video. I will remove, the, remove from your class now. Last warning. The girl loves to dance because in the story she says she hasn't missed a single dance class. The class will miss her. That was says that she loves to dance. That she loves the sound of the guru stamping against the floor. Guru spectacle like patcher or the child song. She says that. So this two tells that she loves to dance. We will move on to the next block children. That is subject and object. Yeah, children, block five. Everybody knows this concept, subject and object. Yes or no? Idea with the subject and object concept? Subject object concept idea with the key? Subject is name in part. They will talk to her. So who is the main subject here? They will talk to her. Who is talking to her is the object. If you take meaning first, it will be more easy. If you can see the board. So if you can say that so many times. Raju is in. Raju is talking to Mani. If you see the board children, see who is the main person here, who is talking. Raju, that's why you give the subject. To who he is talking? It is Mani, object. Without object, there is no meaning or in the sentence. Okay, every sentence we have subject and object. Then we want to mark subject and object. So here there are so many examples if you can see. I am meeting them for lunch tomorrow. I, which you are the main subject. To whom you are meeting? Then object. Just have a look at this block, you understand the subject object. Okay? Next, you go to the next block. The magic spell. With this, our Indian will complete children. Everybody know the magic spell. Characters, Ammu, Anu, they both are brother and sister. Did you remember? Anu and Ammu, they both are brother and sister. They, they, they both want the old car in their house. So they wanted to remove that. They took the help of a friend, Jennifer, and they used a magic spell using the chicken bone. Did you, did you remember? So what happens after that? They use the magic spell, they make some magic spell and her father, met, the car doesn't start. Her father met, meets with an accident and they realize that because of the magic spell only this happened. So they feel very bad about it. They call their friend and says, this magic spell has worked and because of this only it happened. But actually what happened? Her friend says, there is no such magic spell in this world. She laughed and became cool. Hmm. So this way what happened? They think that they became cool and they get angry. They realize that there is no such magic world. And they think that car is really special at the end of the story. Then where did the chicken go miss? The dog, Ladu, took the chicken.